Well, next up, we are learning more about the West Louisville Math and Science Project. The community initiative is working to build math, science, and literacy skills among African American children. Joining me now with more is the founder of this group and the executive director, Ebony Cochran. Ebony, so nice to meet you and have you on. It's a, such a great day for you all. It absolutely is. It's great to be here. So tell us a little bit um, about the West Louisville Math and Science Project and the work that you do. So West Louisville Math and Science Project is an African-centered community-based organization that focuses on math, science, and literacy and incorporates intergenerational and family engagement. And so we basically host math, science, and literacy events uh, that come in the form of big fairs, um, workshops, um, and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. And so how many times a year do you, do you hold these and, and where? Well, we, uh, our biggest, uh, we hold year round. So we've done some um, math fairs in JCPS schools mm -hmm. uh, in the spring. In the summertime, we have two big um, events. One is Family Fun Math Explosion, which is an event that features 40 to 60 individual math activity stations with a one-to-one -one ratio between math activity leader and whoever sits at the seat. Um, we have a big anatomy event, Exploring Human Anatomy, that we've hosted over the summer that features a plethora of medical professionals who come in. We feature all sorts of um, body systems mm -hmm. and so the community gets to engage with mostly black medical professionals that look like them yeah Mm -hmm. uh, and, and obviously to run a group like this, you have to have teachers, volunteers. Yes, our volunteers actually are really a main part of what we do. Um, we believe that they represent community and we believe that community is really fail safe and a support system to support the children and the families that we serve. And so a lot of times we will ask our volunteers to kind of jot down their notes on how they felt, what they saw, what happened. And I have a note here that yeah. I want to read from one of the volunteers. It says, all the kids had imaginations and that gave me hope. And so we believe that not only do the volunteers serve the families and, and children, but the children and families really impact the volunteers. And that really matters mm -hmm. because the volunteers do represent community and we need that community to see families and children yeah. through a very healthy positive lens like that opens the door to, absolutely to access and, and to probably too to go back and figure out what else can we teach learn what can I do to, to change this message you know I, this is getting a response this isn't it's a big day for you guys it is and so uh, how can this help you all and what will give for good day the funds raised help you continue to do? Well, the funds will definitely help to sustain current programming, but we're wanting to expand. And so we're looking into some, we have some really exciting ideas about uh, project-based learning. Mm -hmm. And so we believe that these projects will help to enhance um, the um, knowledge from a math and science standpoint standpoint how that actually applies in real life mm -hmm. and so we are super excited about that. Are there any matches we need to be aware of today or just give 5, 10, 20, anything you have yeah, will there, help. Th yeah, there are no matches, um, but we do encourage people to give what you can. Yeah. 10, like you said, $10, $20, $2,000, <laughs> we'll take thinking, it off. You know, what would you spend grabbing coffee? What would you spend, exactly. you know, in the dollar aisle of, you know, Dollar Tree or Target? right? The couple things you grab that you don't need, this can change a child's life to realize, wow, I have this skill. I never knew absolutely. I had this skill. Absolutely. Because we want to tap into the genius that we know is in our community. Right. And like you said, too, it's so important when these volunteers go out and talk to them. Probably, too, I mean, they're volunteers are doing it for free. They are. They are doing it for free. And we're, and we're bringing in, uh, I mean, cardiovascular folks, you know, urologists, inventors. Mm -hmm. So our children and families get to actually speak with people who have invented things. Um, and it's just very exciting to see the engagement. I mean, it's so nice to meet you. You know, look them up. If this speaks to you, this is your day to reach out and connect with them. To donate, uh, $5, $10, anything will help. Just head on over to giveforgoodlouisville.org.